Uh, Mr. Tiz was there, and they used to make new faces, which was which began. was the which was this talent show. Yes. And so over forty years ago now, the original reality show. I was in the original reality show, yeah. New Faces, yeah. and I won. I know. Um, and it changed my life forever. Wow. Um, it was. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Changed my life forever because um, I was known in Dudley and then I won new faces and then I was known in Leicester and Derby. <laughs> <laughs> I was, I was in say... Leicester and a bloke went, all right, Lenny. <laughs> <laughs> so I, when, it, when, it, when it came time to perform on television on January the 8th, 1975, wow. I just thought it's got to be, I didn't even think about it actually, I just thought I've just got to really practice it. I've got to go, I went all over Birmingham and Wolverhampton and Warsaw and West Brom. I practiced it in front of audiences. I used to get up in the middle of discos and perform. <laughs> you imagine that at Glastonbury in the yeah, rave tent yeah. now. <laughs> <laughs> I'd never been in front of an audience of 100,000 people before. As you do. Live. <laughs> live. I'd never, and Mandela Day, the first one particularly, was mm. my first experience of walking out at Wembley Stadium and seeing all those people going, who the hell is that? <laughs> I literally walked on dressed as Michael Jackson and there was this, hooray, oh God, it's Lenny. Yeah. <laughs> and then when I came out as Tina Turner, they went, hooray, oh, for oh, Christ's God, sake. Say, not again. Again. Uh, yeah. <laughs> There's a lot of activity to do with representation in our, in our industry now. And I'm part of that and I'm glad I'm part of that because if you can't see it, you can't be it. Mm. And young people need to see themselves up there on the screen because otherwise they're not going to watch anymore. Yes, or negative. When you negative, say diversity yeah. to people, it has negative connotations. Mm. Phew, I don't want to do diversity. Mm. You know, why should I do that? What yeah. are you making me do that for? Yeah. Whereas I think representation and inclusion yeah. is better. Yep. Inclusion feels like That's you're everyone. making the decision. Yeah. You said see it, be it. I heard you and I'm here. So I heard you on Radio 4, you were talking about how you'd done a degree later in life. And I thought, okay, working class guy from Dudley. <laughs> I'm from the Midlands, I heard you, and in my 50s I did a degree. I chose education Woo! studies. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> With a hidden disability, I had to work harder. I was working full time, I worked all night. Well I got done my first, you. I got my well scholarships, I got it all. Did your family break up? <laughs> they didn't get fed much. Pardon? <laughs> they didn't get fed much. They didn't but get fed much. I chose to come and work at BCU to support students with hidden disabilities. So I'm a support tutor now. Did Bless grad you. stuff. It was inspiration thanks to you. Thank oh, you. Oh, thank you. As a certain aged uh, person in the 80s, I was a massive fan of Tiz Watts. And every single week, I wrote a letter to you and to Speak the Dog. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I wrote every week. Did you answer? No. <laughs> did Spit, did Spit answer? No. No T-shirt. I am a brummy. It was our show. You, you were my hero. What have you done since? All this, you know, comedy, oh God. blah, 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 career, 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 career. I am come bitter. Come here, come here. I am bitter. I'm going to hug it out. Hug it out. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It's really nice to meet you. Wait, say that. It's an honour. It's an honour to meet you. Say that. I'll take a picture. There you go. You got your picture now. <laughs> Thank you, Jim. Yeah. Thank you. Give a round of applause.